So you remember, um, I said that <laughs> our heading wasn't finished, and I was going to fill in this part, right? We looked at sequences, we're going to move into series. These progressions, there are two families of them that are particularly useful to us because they're accessible, the, the maths of them is not hard to understand, but also they, they lead to very important places in later topics, okay? So the other kind of progression that we're interested in this morning is called a geometric progression. Arithmetic progressions, geometric progressions. Hence, we call them GPs, not to be confused with general practitioners, right? Nothing to do with them. Um, I will let you have a think, and I'll give you an answer um, at the end, and you can remind me if I forget to give you. Um, why exactly these are called geometric progressions, whereas these are called, like, what makes these things geometric? Because I don't think it's obvious, but if you ever think about it, like, if the question's on your mind, you might work it out. You can get the idea. So, again, I'm going to go through pattern, formula, recursion, and how to test for whether something is this kind of progression or not. Okay? Now, you met these yesterday. We have this common difference. You add something, then you add something, then you add something. That's the hallmark of an AP. Okay? The hallmark of a GP is very similar. You still start with a first term that we still call A, but instead of adding the same thing repeatedly, you multiply. Okay. You multiply, and then you multiply, and then you multiply. You choose the same number every time. Now, because here we're adding, we called it a difference, when you multiply by something over and over again, we tend to call that a ratio, right? So instead of AD, I'm going to call this next term A times R. R. When I multiply again to get to the next term, I multiply by R again. So it's going to be AR squared. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny because, because if, you know, um, my birthday is International Speak Like a Pirate Day, so it's kind of like, you know. <laughs> anyway, I've got three terms. That's all I need. September 19, right? It was pretty, pretty bad, even for a dad who usually appreciates dad jokes. <laughs> okay, now, once we have the pattern, it therefore doesn't take much to work out what the formula for each nth term, each nth term is going to be. And it bears a striking similarity to our formula for the APs, right? I'm always going to start with A, right? I'm going to have that common ratio in there. How many common ratios does the nth term get multiplied by. N. And the answer is, just like with the common differences, it's going to be n minus 1. And you yeah. see that, right? The first term doesn't have any of the common ratio on it. The second term has one of them. The third term has two, and etc. Okay? A r to the n minus 1. Uh, in exactly the same way, from here, I could go to a recursive definition, right? Uh, sorry, I don't need to write recursion again. I can simply say, we lock in the first term as a. Once you know what the first term is, you can get any subsequent term, the nth term, by saying what? T n minus 1. It would be the previous term, times R. but multiplied, right? So I'm just going to write that R out the front. Okay. To get to the next term, you take the previous term, you multiply by whatever the ratio is. Okay. Now remember, the reason why I use this is not because it's actually much use in solving questions, but it's useful to generate... This guy, the test, right? So how do I test whether a sequence or a series is a GP or not? I'm going to take this same kind of comparison, right? I want to do something with a pair of consecutive terms, right? What am I going to do? I'm not going to subtract. I'm going to divide, right? So I'm going to take one term, divide it by the previous one, right? Every single one of those should be equal to the common ratio for every term that you give me. Right? All values of n that are supplied. Now, just like before, you're pretty much going to get three terms, right? So therefore, in reality, what you're checking is the first pair and the second pair. You want to check that those ratios line up. In other words, that term 2 divided by term 1 is the same as term 3 divided by term 2. Okay? So this is what it is, generally speaking, but this is pretty much what you'll do each time. Okay? You want to show them the Okay, now, let's start again. I'm going to ask a very similar set of questions, 
um, with GPs that we did with APs, right? Uh, in fact, I'm going to ask almost an identical question, which is let's, let's find some terms. That's a nice, easy way to start. That's a simple way to use this formula, okay? So the first four terms, when, now just like I needed two things to define an AP, I need two things to define a GP. But it's not a common difference, is it? It's the first term and a ratio. ratio. So let's just say a nice, easy number like two, because as you will see, um, geometric progressions, they kind of grow pretty fast or shrink fast. Exponentially. Oh, yeah, sure. We totally did that. <laughs> Thank you. It was so, bugging you, wasn't it? Yes. Sorry. Uh, yes. Exponentially fast. Ah, yes. Well, that's exactly how fast. Now, when we write out this series, okay, I'm um, obviously, you get the first term for three, which is nice. Three. To get to the next term, I'm going to double, which of course just gives me six. And then, and then, 12, 12 and then, <laughs> 24, restoring my faith in humanity, guys. Thank you. Okay, so, there are my first four terms, okay? So get straight to the 11th term, again, just like before, I'm going to write down to get it into my head at this early stage. I'm going to write down my um, formula, right, which is A, R to the N minus 1, and I know what A and R and N are. Okay, so I'm going to write this in, right? 3 times 2 to the... 10, 11 oh, minus 10, 1, 10, right, which is which is 10. That's right. okay. It's 1,024. Now, it's worth mentioning, because of the, the nature of a geometric series, this, this second part there, that 2 to the power of whatever, right, or the whatever to the power of whatever, sometimes it can be just astronomically large, okay? So depending on the question, I will sometimes just leave it in this form. Just leave it in the next form. Because this, this will be some dumb, huge number. Oh, what's the point, okay? I've, I've, I've worked out what it is. My calculator does the rest, okay? In this case, relatively small in the scheme of things. I happen to know the 2 to the power of 10 is 1024 because binary. I'm a geek. It's and so when you multiply by 3, binary. you're just getting 3072. You happy with that? It starts with 10. Okay. 